already getting loaded up. Adjusting the elevation on his Hotchkiss. Now Jared's adjusting the elevation. Jared getting just where he wants it. Mike fires first and goes just high. Holy I wasn't ready for that. That ought to wake up the neighbors. It, it startled us all, because, man, that thing's loud. Shot. Dead center hit. I'm like, okay, this is gonna be simpler than I thought. Like a calm came across. I said, okay, well, this is no big deal. I'm on, so I could take my time. I wasn't rushing. I didn't want to miss a step. Mike adjusting the elevation. He likes it. Here we go. Well, that's a hit. Mike moving on to the second water tank. Both men have hit the first water tank. Two targets left. Uh-oh. Hey. I go to send that round, and the uh, round comes out of the back. It wasn't seated properly. I didn't lock the breech, so I had to go back, reseat the round, make sure I locked the breech. Mike, loading his second round. Both men just about the same position. Jared's ready. Jared misses the second water tank. I send that round and it appeared as though it went high. All right. Top Shot is officially the uh, coolest show on television. Now, uh, you saw the uh, elimination round featuring the uh, Hotchkiss Mountain Gun, uh, and I am sorry to say that uh, after a, uh, a really intense competition, uh, Jarrett Grimes was eliminated from Top Shot last night. He joins us on the program. And, Jarrett, thank you so much, sir, for joining us this evening. Uh, no problem, Cam. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. Uh, all right, so uh, first of all, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about last night's episode in particular. Uh, for a show called Top Shot, <laughs> we didn't actually see a lot of shooting until the elimination round. I mean, you guys were using uh, very primitive weapons for most of this episode. Yeah, they went uh, very very primitive for us this time. <laughs> and did you have a lot of experience throwing rocks through windows or uh, tomahawks going into this uh, th this television uh, series? Not necessarily tomahawks, <laughs> but I think I have thrown a few rocks in my day. <laughs> uh, so we, we saw the, uh, the, 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 the competition last night, and the blue team uh, obviously lost the competition. First time in a couple of episodes that that has happened. Uh, and you nominated yourself uh, 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 for the elimination round. Why did you do that, Jarrett? Well, I wasn't really pleased with uh, my tomahawk performance, and uh, I really was trying to save the team from... Uh, the infighting that we've seen uh, red teams that come to. So uh, in some twisted me <laughs> method in my head, I decided to, uh, you know, throw myself on the sword and uh, try and save the team and actually have some fun. I, you know, maybe like, we would get to shoot something. I was actually thinking it was going to be some type of, uh, you know, crossbow or something primitive because uh, we went, you know, we, we were primitive with weapons. So, right. Uh, uh, but I was just, again, my my thought process there was, you know, so we don't have to sit there and do the, you know, you suck, you suck, you don't, you don't. So, you know, the team still has to continue as a team and go on and hopefully win this thing and go into the finals. So uh, that was the thought process anyway. All right, so you nominate yourself, you get your wish, uh, you go to the elimination round, and you are faced with the Hotchkiss Mountain Gun. I mean, basically a, a cannon that fires uh, two-pound projectiles. What did you think when you walk up to the range and you see this thing? funny because they didn't show it but uh when it was covered you could kind of tell it was like a little cannon or something and before kobe uh revealed it i said i said you know it's a it's an effing cannon <laughs> 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 i just started laughing it's a cannon and of course he revealed that's why you saw the big smile on my face because that's what i said just before that so uh, so I said, well, this is going to be interesting. So I don't think, uh, I think it's at least now a level playing field because I, I doubt Mike had a lot of, you know, cannon experience. So uh, it should be fun. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, uh, talk a little bit about the uh, the experience of being on the show itself. Uh, are, any regrets? You glad you did it? I'm glad I did it. The only thing that, uh, you know, for those who don't know about the show or don't know the behind-the-scenes type thing that I didn't really care for, uh, A, would be living with uh, – 15 other individuals <laughs> <laughs> and more so being as sequestered as you are you're, you're very uh you know you're removed from 
you know, anything at all. So that was kind of a little, that was a little difficult. But uh, other than that, it was a great experience. And I got to be on there with one of my best friends, uh, Gary Questenberry. So uh, it was, it was, it was pretty cool. What, what made you decide that uh, that you wanted to try out for the show, Jarrett? Well, I had a couple of uh, friends on both episodes uh, one and two. I had Mike Seeklander and uh, JJ Ricaza, mm-hmm. and then on season one, and then on season two, uh, uh, Jermaine Fings. They're all friends of mine, so they uh, kind of you know pushed Gary and I both in that direction of uh, trying to apply for the show. And uh, you know, Gary said, "Hey, man, you want to do this? It would be great for us to both get on there and maybe uh, you know." kick each other around on national TV. So I said, oh, if we can get on, let's do it. So it, was, uh, it worked out. What do you think a show like Top Shot, Jarrett, uh, is doing for uh, simply the idea of gun ownership? I mean, I, I think Top Shot is one of the best-looking shows on television. Uh, I, I, I think it, prevent, it presents gun owners in such a positive, normal light compared to what uh, you might get. But... I, what, what's your take on on the impact that Top Shot is having culturally? I agree, and 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 you know, obviously, I was a fan of Top Shot because I had past uh, friends on the show, mm-hmm. but I didn't realize until actually being on the show how many people really watched the show, and uh, and I think that's a a great thing for the shooting community, and in that they show all types of weapons so it's just not either pistols or rifles i mean so they show you know, i can actually use an an obr and i'm not hunting a man you know so right. it's uh it's uh it's, it's it's pretty good i think for the shooting community overall well listen and they, like I said they do a very good job with uh how they produce it so it looks like i mean as sequestered as you guys are even living in a house with uh you know 15 people it just looks like it's a lot of fun at the end of the day well, at the, at the end product's a lot of fun. <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually doing it sometimes can be a pain. You know, dealing with all those cameras and you know doing stuff over again, and you know how I guess uh, you know everything that goes into making a, a, a show. So it can be kind of hectic. Yeah. Well, listen, I'm I'm glad that uh, you're able to come on the program tonight. How was uh, how was work today? Uh, anybody give you any uh, any grief? Actually, work wasn't as bad as I expected. I, I really thought the guys, especially you know, being the type of work that I am, that they would really come down and they'd, they'd get me. But uh, not too much, you know. They some tomahawk jokes and some <laughs> some cannon jokes. But other than that, it was it was pretty good. Uh, I suspect, though, you know, I haven't seen everyone, so <laughs> as, as, as the, the weeks go on, I'll still hear some stuff. Well, Jared, again, thank you so much sir, for coming on the program. Uh, congratulations for uh, for making it to Top Shot. I mean, the number of uh, people who uh, who want to be a part of that program and who uh, apply every season is staggering. Uh, so, you know, I think it's a, it, it's a real tribute to your shooting skills that, uh, that you made it. Uh, and glad to talk to you tonight, sir. Same here, Cam. I appreciate it. Thank you. Jared Grimes joining us from Top Shot. Episode 5 aired last night.